how to get easy Java simulation to run on your Windows computer. First, you go to Google and do a search on EJS, and the website will appear as a second link. It says Welcome to Easy Java Simulation homepage. Click on it, and you will come to the website. Click on English, you will come to the EJS wiki. But what is EJS? You can just click on it and then you can find that EJS is one of those cool computer software tools designed for creation of a computer simulation. So we'll just go to the download and install. Look for the latest, in this case, is EJS 4.1. Click on it and you'll find that it will pop up the zip file. I'll click on the save, but instead I'll click on cancel because I already downloaded it. And it's already in my desk. And you double click on the zip file, and you will find that the Windows asks you to extract all files. Click on it and select where to save it. But because again I have it, I'm just going to close all the windows and go straight to the directory with all the save files. Click on EGS 4.1 and click on the EGS console. You will find that the EGS console will appear at the bottom left corner. Now here is up. It will automatically launch the EGS modeling interface. And it will, for my case, I selected it to open. When running EGS for the first time, you'll be asked to fill your name and contact information. This data will facilitate the tagging of your applets that you make in the event that the applets have the by default no information you'll be prompted to save this default information into the new source file aspect ratio leave it alone html normally i choose a single page because according to google it's easier to find if the applets are in a single page this one i'll just leave it alone click ok Sometimes when running EGS for the first time, you'll also be prompted to select where is your workspace. So I'm just going to show you where your workspace, which is normally where you install the EGS for the first time. So for my case, I store it inside desktop, EGS, uh, EGS 4.1 and followed by workspace. Uh, click open. Next time, your changes will be reflected here. Previous open file. I'm just going to close all these files and I'm going to show you how you can find a new file in the EGS. You will start off with the file directory which looks something like this. Click on the workspace to the source. Click on any of the users. Uh, in this case, I'm going to click on user. Uh, just an example. And I'm going to select NT and you which is by Professor Huang. Just going to click on the double pendulum source file. And you will launch the applet. So you can see you just have to click on this green button to compile the codes. And then you can find that the applet runs as designed. Of course, this is open source, which means that you can look at all the source code, decipher what, how this program was made, and then you can have your inputs to make it suit your own teaching needs. So I'm just going to briefly go through the variables to show you the, some of the variables that are involved. This is the initialization, the evolution, determines the, how the equations are governed. These are the fixed relationships. It's a bit complicated now, but uh, you get the hang of it after a while. These are the custom functions. So in the view panel, you can find that the simulation is having these three diagrams with all the segments, shapes, arrows, and trails so that you can define yourself. I'm just going to expand it a little bit, and then you can see further on, there are all these uh, sliding control. So EGS actually gives designer a lot of control over what you want to appear in the applet. 
So how do you get it out? You just click on the package and save as, export it as a jar file, which is actually a 1.3 meg file now, which is a lot better because then you don't have to worry about embedding it on the HTML. It just downloads and runs independent. You would like to share your own effort. So now you can see that the compressed files are ready. So you navigate to workspace, click on uh, export. And there you have the file. Double click on the file. We will launch the Java applet as a 1.3 meg file. So you can see that the applet is ready. And you can toggle it to full screen. Unlike if it is embedded, then you have some trouble. Because it's in uh, this format, so you can expand it to full screen. And you can uh, interact with the applet the way the design. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to download EGS.